All right, hello to all of my viewers out there. Jabbar Brown here. Um, today's lesson will be by Milton Brunson over and over and over. Um, and this is by Reverend Milton Brunson and the Thompson Community Singers. Um, so we're going to be in the key of D, uh, excuse me, G. All right. And of course, as usual, as usual, I made a track to kind of help us out. Um, I typically use the Roland RD 700 SX, which I'm still using. Um, the sound for today will be the X Ultimate. Um, and again, I made a track to kind of help us out, and we may use a little bit of that uh, periodically in the lesson. All right. So right now, what I'm going to do is sort of just just dive straight in. We'll go through some chords and we'll break everything down, and um, we'll try to play through just a little bit to uh, show you how it should sound. All right. So starting out. Okay. All right. Now, here's a couple of ways that we can do that. We have, what I'm going to do is twang off of my A to my B. Okay, so we have D. Once we hit our D, A, G. Another way of approaching that is, okay, or, okay, the difference here is now we're going to twang from our B flat, okay, so I have my A and my B flat, I sort of hit them, not at the same time, but, okay, Right? So it's like a, a a flam using two notes. Okay? Like so. Hit this hit the D again. Now coming back down, I'm hitting with twang again from the B flat. But all you have to do is just let your finger drop down from your B flat. So Alright? Now, in the beginning, the bass line will do something different, and, and the keys can play the same thing. We have A in the left hand, and the right hand, I'm going to use G, C, and E. Okay? And now the next chord, in the left hand, I have E. And, and it coincides with what the bass player is doing as well. The right hand, I have A, D, and G flat. Okay, so we have. All right, now we're back to our right hand, the same chord. Now our bass hand in the left hand is D, bass note rather. In the right hand, we're back to uh, G, C, and E. So we started here. All right, so all we're doing really is in the right hand is we're hitting two chords. Okay. Now, what we can do to sort of... We can add an extra note in the top to sort of give an ascending effect, meaning... We use three, three notes in the beginning, all right? Now the second time around, let's put that G on the top. So you have this chord already. Let's add the G, the G and then let's add the A on top of that other chord. So it should sound something like, all right? Now let's move on a little bit farther.